Okay, Brown. Hmm? Why are you not dressed up? Dress up for what? Ha, ha. For church now? Don't you know today is Sunday? Ha! After party last night, you want me to go to church today? And I'm tired now. You need to go and rest. Can you just hear yourself? Eh, I'm tired now. I want to go and rest. But if I say let us go for another party now, you will accept. Please go inside and go and dress up. See, I, I, I'm tired. I wanted to rest. I didn't sleep last night. Oh, me did I sleep? Keep yeah, on. You better start taking the things of God very serious. Eh? You better start taking things of God very serious. So go inside and dress up. Let us go to church. I beg. See. After offering, I'm coming back. Yes, go inside and dress up. Let us go to church. I'm waiting for you. Go, 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 go. I beg. Huh? You just stay and not take things of God very serious. I can't find my shoe. Oh, just wear anything and come out. Wear anything and come out. Or oh, just take your palms and wear. Okay, oh, if you say so. This church said that you're even rushing us to. I just don't want that. It's making you want to go to church today. Okay, bro. Is it every time woman, 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 even in the house of God? <laughs> Please let us go to church, Joe. See, you better start taking this God very serious. I have told you. Just, just look at how I'm dressed. Look at you, you didn't even talk in. Is this how you're supposed to appear? Uh, leave it, I'll talk in before I enter the church. Hallelujah. Amen. This is our season of testimony. And I'm so convinced in my spirit that the Lord is out to bless someone today. And so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Brethren, I want to encourage you. We are in a season where the power of God is moving mightily. But the question is, do you have the heart to receive from him? The widow, according to the story Jesus told in the Bible, gave just a mite. It wasn't the biggest offering, but she gave all she had with a cheerful heart. It is with such cheerful heart that you can draw from the well of salvation. And I am so convinced that God will surely meet you at the point of your need. Don't come to the presence of God without an expectation. For the expectations of the righteous shall not be cut short. The Bible says so. So if you have an expectation in your heart, you will draw from him. You will receive from him. He is ever ready to meet your needs. I want to encourage you that as long as you're here, you would go with your own testimony. Just have that in mind. There is a testimony for you because this is our season of prosperity. Amen. Amen. Right yes, sir. And I declare to you today that whatever has caused you tears, your happiness and your celebration <laughs> has come. Amen. Amen. Can I get a bigger amen? Amen. amen. Now listen, the Bible said it's more profitable to give than to ask. This is the season of prosperity, but you must do the needful. A widow gave just a mite, and she was recognized in the Bible as a giver. Excuse me, sir. Stop sleeping. I'm not sleeping. <laughs> Brethren, the Bible said in the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 11, And we overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. Listen to me, you're living here with a testimony today. Amen. Now, can you look at the person sitting next to you and tell him or her and say, Neighbor, Neighbor. this is my season of this testimony. Is my season of testimony. And so shall it be. Amen. Brethren, in this season of testimony, I want you to understand something. You can only receive from the Spirit as much as you can give by faith. Your faith is the only currency you need to make exchange in the spirit realm. It's just like buying and selling. You release faith to receive blessings. The amount of faith you have is directly equivalent to how much you believe in God. And the Bible said that even if your faith Sir? is as small as a mustard seed, Don't sleep in you the can church. speak to the mountain. I'm sleeping. I'm meditating. The Bible said in Hebrews 11.1 1, that faith is the assurance of things hoped for. Yes, sir. Faith is the certainty of things not seen. Faith is you believing that God has done it. And brethren, faith is not a noun. Faith is a verb. It's a doing word. That's why it is called taking the step of faith. What is it? <laughs> and you me. Ross, did you see me sleeping? Out and in your coming in. A cheerful heart is all you need. Have you ever asked yourself, why am I still alive in a time like this? There is a purpose waiting for you. 
Have you ever tried to ask yourself, what is that purpose? What is that assignment that God has put in my hand? God wants to use you to do his will here on earth. There is this burden that God has laid in my heart for some time. Brethren, there is somebody that is going to build a house for God in this our generation. And that is you. While I was praying, God told me specifically that four persons in this service, four, just four persons, will contribute to the building of God's church. Just allow the Spirit of God to minister to you right now because we are looking at a project that is over 20 million naira. We just need four persons to build a house for God. And those four persons will bring five, five million naira each. I'm not talking about empty promises. I'm not talking about promises that will be redeemed later. No, I mean immediately after service. Because the project starts immediately. If the Lord has laid it in your heart to build a house for him, please can you be on your feet. Praise God, one person. God bless you, my brother. Five, five million naira each, remaining three persons. God bless you, my sister. That is 10 million. Who again? God is speaking to you. We need four persons. There's remaining two persons. Who again? God is speaking to you. Build a house for God today. <laughs> oh, that's the, third, that's the third person. God bless you, my brother. God bless you. One more person to go. God is speaking to you. That is the... Please, can we put our hands together for the Lord? Thank you very much. Please, brother, can you come forward? Come forward. God bless you. Can you please come forward? Come forward, please. Come forward. Keep clapping. Put your hands together to the Mr. Lord. Mr. Mr. Please, a round of applause for them as they come forward. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your word. I know you made one speaking to me. The Lord cannot say it's in and it doesn't bring it to pass. Mr. Ten is giving five million. God bless you, my brothers. God bless you, my sister. Thank you for obeying the voice of the Lord to give five five million naira each to the building of the new church cathedral. Please, if you're doing cash or if you're doing transfer, after service, go straight to the church accountant and fulfill your vows. Do you have five million naira? Five million. In fact, I speak forth into this week that you shall encounter greater testimonies. Five million. I declare your week is blessed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Please, brethren, a round of applause for them as they go back to their seats. Please put your hands together for them. My brother, you can go back. God bless you. Yes, you can go back to your seats. Yes. You are blessed already. You can go back. Okay? Five million. <laughs> hey! We stay in half five million now, and we're suffering like this. <laughs> Please don't defend, don't defend. Yes, the Bible said it is more honorable to give than to receive. And I thank God we have givers in the house of God today. Brethren, for having answered this call, I am so convinced that more doors are opening for you. You shall remain blessed in your going out and in your coming in. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching that very funny Makenjo comedy. See you next Friday. Please subscribe. Also remember to subscribe to our Makenjo TV channel. Thank you very much. Please, does anyone have an idea where Beste ran to? Eh? Please, if you have an idea, eh? Uh, put it down on the comment section. The church is looking for him. Thank you.